It was the night before Christmas when I opened the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. You mean the candy? You want to the candy? Let's see if I can read up some there. There's the first picture. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her, in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what's the matter. <clears throat> Away to the window I flew in a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday on objects below. <laughs> when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles. Nick's taking your note. His coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. <clears throat> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Wait, I'll wait. <clears throat> as dry leaves as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, they count the horses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Pay attention, people. <laughs> as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as wide as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. <clears throat> He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the <laughs> but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod <coughs> with the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he, dro er, he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all of you. Oh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.